Go Wolf! Who? Go Wolf! Wreck it, Ralph? My name is Phil Johnston. I'm a screenwriter and producer. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. You can't mess with the program, Ralph. Wreck It Ralph is a huge animated Disney movie that I worked on. I mean, people don't always know that you can make a great living out here selling things that never get made. And so I sold a couple of TV shows and a, at least one movie, maybe two, before anything of mine ever got made. Oh, sweet. And then I'd written this script just on my own called Cedar Rapids that was the first thing that I wrote that, that got made. It was awesome. Someone deserves two bags of honey roasted peanuts. Two bags. Super awesome. There's no one I'd rather be than me. The next thing that got made was Wreck-It Ralph. Hang in there, Ralph. Which, the opposite end of the spectrum from Cedar Rapids, which is an indie. Thank you. From Wreck-It Ralph, now I've got a, a whole bunch of stuff that is in different stages of development. Confederacy of Dunces is a book that I'm adapting right now with Zach Galifianakis starring in and doing a movie with Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, it was great. I'm still in touch with a lot of my professors. I studied journalism. I majored in uh, newspaper and broadcast journalism. Well, guys, maybe it's because he's from Minnesota. So that's what I did. I was a TV news reporter for eight or nine years out of undergrad and only got into film, you know, much later in, in life. I think at the time when I was 19 years old or whatever, for whatever reason, I wasn't ready to admit that that's what I really wanted to do. It didn't occur to me that I could do that. And so I didn't pursue film right out of there. It was sort of knocking in the back of my head that if I, if I keep doing this, if I'm doing this in 10 or 15 more years, I'm, I'm going to have regret. And I, I, don't, I don't believe in regret as a concept. I think it's, I think it's a crazy idea. I was obsessed with film and, and watched movies and read about movies and, and suddenly it was like a light bulb moment of, God, this is, what, this is what you have to do. You go to Madison and you're not going to be walking in like the big fish. It's a very large pond and it's a really cool pond. And so Madison is a great training ground for surviving in Hollywood, I guess, simply because you have to stand out. You have to find a way to make your voice heard. If you have something that's just burning in you that you have to do, that you should find a way to do it. And not even just don't take no for an answer, which is sometimes easier said than done, because you, you're going to have to work, you're going to have to make a living and whatever. But if you really want to do something, you have to find a way to do it. Thank you.